We're live now. One, two, three, go. All right. Hello, hello, everyone. Hello. We're getting up and running. Welcome to the nursing school show, everyone. Thank ask, you for joining. Ask us anything. And ask us anything. Nursing ask school me related. Anything. Or something like that. Yep. Answer. Hello, everyone. Or not answer. Ask some questions. We will do all of the things to answer them. Yep. Welcome, everyone. Let's see. I am Tap. Hello. All right. Let us get going. Luminaire, Esther, hello. Hello, hello. Tessa. Uh, Yagi. Terry. Esther. Hello, everyone. So, Curly we girl. are doing nursing Lynn. school questions. Nursing school questions. And, Christina, you Ow. actually posted on Instagram asking for questions, correct? I did, yeah. Let's okay. go through those first. All right. We will go through that first, but go ahead and put in the comments below what your questions are. Also, on YouTube, be sure to hit subscribe, hit the like button, all those things. Hit YouTube? the bell, hit the things, all the things. And also let us know where you're from. Mm -hmm. Let us do that. Yes, hello. Hello, Becky, um, Angelique, Philippe. I'm really bad with names. I apologize. Dacia, Coupon, Kelly, hello. All right. Hannah, hi. We apparently look good we with look each good. other. Beth, hello, hello. Hello. Someone Ilan. always says that on our lives. That's good. Thank you, we, friend. Yeah. yeah. Which is good because we go together. We do. <laughs> we are a package deal. We are a package to deal. That is, that is Hi, how Jay it Beasley. Goes. New York, Pennsylvania, Illinois. Mm. Ooh, mm. that's a great question. Uh, Pritesh, am I saying that no, right? Oh, cool. Probably am not. All right. How do I join the community? Okay, let's talk about that first. How do oh, I join yes. the Nursing SOS membership community? So, enrollment is opening on Sunday. So, that's like, what, five days? Yes. Enrollment will open five days from now. So, if I'm doing math right. get on the VIP list. The VIP list, the VIP. NursingSchoolOfSuccess.com slash join. join. Yes. We'll get you on the VIP list and be the first to know when it opens. It opens... Yep. Sunday, Sun is the day. 21st. Yep. Um, yep, that's it. Sunday. All so, right. I can't put, I don't know <laughs> if I'm doing math right. That sounds like five days to me. Um, okay, so someone did ask this on Instagram. How much is it? So the Nursing SOS membership community is $39 per month or $3.90 per year, Ooh. which is like getting two months. Free, it is like is getting awesome. two months free if I can do my math. Yeah. So um, <laughs> you guys are not going to want to miss this. So here's the deal. We only open our community like a handful of times a year, just a few, mm -hmm. um, because we are 100% all in, all focused on our students. Like when you join the community, you not only get access to our entire database library of step-by-step -step nursing lectures, you also get the study guides and the cheat sheets, and you also get tutoring on top of it. And you also get our community forum, amazing. So you can connect with other nursing students who are going through nursing school, just like you are. Um, you can hang out with the nurses on our team, get your questions answered. It you, is just- You just got off so of a coaching amazing. call right before this live. Yes. So you guys do coaching calls- Every Monday. Um, every Monday. Yep. So yeah, just, uh, it's a really good community. So. You, guys out here are a really good community as well but more so in the membership so yep. it's really cool yep i don't get dimensional analysis dasya you oh. don't get dimensional analysis you gotta join the nursing SOS membership community um what boot camp dasya what boot camp <laughs> we don't have a boot camp um but i can teach you dimensional analysis we have an entire dose calc course inside the nursing SOS membership community Okay, friends. All right, let's go through some of these questions. Also, again, for those that mm -hmm. just joined, let us know where you're from and subscribe, hit the bells, hit all the things Saudi in Arabia. TikTok and Instagram and especially YouTube. All right, let's jump into I some saw... of these quests. Chins. Oh, sorry, I can't put the link here on Instagram. NursingSchoolOfSuccess.com forward slash join. Yes, uh, Brienne, it is for LPN and RN students. Mm, cool. Um, I actually just talked about that on my Instagram stories um, today. So, ooh, the lady co, lady co. I'm not mm -hmm. sure how you're supposed to say your name, but we will get to that. That is a really good question. So let's 
Um, Christina posted some uh, a post in Instagram asking for questions, so we'll do mm -hmm. those, and then we'll jump back to you. So hold on Hi, just one second. You're the best. And also, I saw some Thanks other good, good questions here. We'll probably circle back around on more dose calc. Mm -hmm. And I saw some on the new NCLEX as well, which we were talking about last live as well. So hang on. Let's go through some of the questions. What's the yeah. first question now? So the thing was on Instagram, I am doing this by memory because my phone is on Instagram right now. So I can't like look at the questions. But mm. here's what I remember from those questions. PEDS exams, how to study for pediatrics. Now, this student said that she was starting pediatrics now and has a test in, I think, 10 days. You're definitely going to want to join the Nursing SM membership community because we have an entire pediatrics course in there. Um, but with pediatrics and med surge and psych and you guys, all of this stuff, here's how to study. Okay, you ready for this? Four things. Pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. Those are the four things that you need to focus on, whether you're studying peds, whether you are studying med search, whether you are studying fundamentals, whether you are studying psych, whether you are studying fluid and electrolytes. Those four things, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions, okay? Four things. So when you're studying pediatrics, that is what you want to focus on. And then there was, oh, yes, OB, mm, of course, yeah. Felipe, thank you, OB, same thing. All the OB disorders, uh, it's that's what you're going to want to focus on. I know that your instructors are going to tell you, wait, but you have to know this, and you have to know this, and it is just not true. Don't listen to them, <laughs> please. <laughs> because, sure, you might get, like, one or two exam questions about random things uh, and random stuff, but the bulk of your exam, the bulk of your grade is going to be those four things. Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. That is just how it is. So focus on those four things and you will be golden, my friend. Okay. So the next question that uh, we had submitted on Instagram is um, OR nursing. And what I thought about OR nursing, like, what do you think about OR nursing? Um, did I, have I done OR nursing? Uh, I, my only experience with OR was in clinical and nursing school and I did it and I decided I would never, ever, ever, <laughs> ever, ever do it again. <laughs> so I think that that is perhaps, I think I would do like, mm -hmm. I think I would enjoy prison nursing more than OB or um, OR nursing. I would actually enjoy L and D nursing more than OR nursing, like OR nursing, I do not do like all the gear that it takes. I do not, I know it's a cold room and all that, but I, you guys, like having to wear the vest and the, just all the stuff, that's just not my thing. And you have to stand in one place for so long. <laughs> I mean, that's not my thing. So um, I would rather just, you know, have a floor to walk rather than be mm -hmm. stuck in one room for eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours. Not, not my thing. Not going to happen. Mm. So that's the answer to that question. Okay. I don't know. Do you remember my OR experience coming out? I was like, I feel like I'm going to pass out. This is not, this is not for me. <laughs> Who wants to do OR nursing here? Anyone? Yeah. It's, it's Anyone? really an individual thing. So uh, Felipe, mm -hmm. Felipe, Felipe. Yep. Let me know. Let me know. Um, what's the best department for a new graduate nurse to start working in? Um, so really, the, your rotations are probably going to be the, the first taste of the different areas of nursing. And yep. really, I think it is really individualized on what are your gifts, what are your talents, uh, what you find interesting and fascinating. Uh, yep. Christina here does not like OR, but that is not true for everyone. Some people really do gravitate towards that. So yep. um, it really does depend on you and yeah, just be open to your rotations. And even though you, you think you don't like it, just go through it. You might end up liking it a lot. So you yep. might find different areas that you didn't even know that you like, that you really do like. So um, Callie, yeah. I agree with you. OR nursing has tried the same thing over and over and over again. Yes. And I like to move. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's just like you have to stand in the same place for so long and wear all the gear. And that's just not, that's not my thing. It's mm -hmm. not my, no, I, yeah. I would definitely do like pre-op, sure, or post-op, sure. 
Um, but not like in the hours. <laughs> I need space, friends. I need space to walk around mm-hmm. and hang out and flutter. I flutter. That's what <laughs> I do. I flutter. Uh, Jay, uh, another Dose Calc question. So we will be getting to Dose Calc right after these questions, so be sure to hang on. Do not go anywhere. Shoot up some emojis if you think that's a good idea. Um, <laughs> let me see. Miss Inspired also asked, backing up to your first answer, what mm-hmm. about patient education on the things that you should know about? Patient education, Chrissy, things. goes under nursing interventions. So mm-hmm. nursing interventions is what do you do? So like, you know, like any anywhere in our membership community, we break up these disorders into the four categories, right? Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. So nursing assessment is all, it always includes lab values. And then nursing interventions always includes patient education and medication. So we lump those together just because, you know, if you try to break them out into all these things, it feels overwhelming, but we just break it up that way to to really simplify it. Since patient education is something that you as the nurse, you as the nursing student is going to do, that's how we we lump it together. Mm -hmm. It just makes more sense that way. So Mm -hmm. yes, um, patient education is part of nursing interventions as far as we're concerned. So awesome. you might see it break broken up like in different textbooks in a different way, but we like, we like simple here. We <laughs> like simple. Uh, uh, all right. Mappy, are you guys in Canada? No, we are not. No, we are south of the Canadian border. <laughs> there you yep. go. Um, let me see. All right. Awesome. Moving um, on. Let's see here. I have a few questions All right. from Instagram. Yep. Go in ahead and go for that. Um, the the actually the biggest one. I think this was three. Um, three questions submitted about the same thing. Okay. So, um, talking about RN versus BSN, or not? Um, excuse me. ADN versus BSN. Okay, who has questions about that? Can you guys tell me what program are you in? Are you in an oh, ADN program question. or a BSN program? I'm or an curious. LPN program for or the an LPN person program. that Thank uh, you. for Brienne. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, let us know what program you're in or just got into, will be starting soon, when you're starting, when you're yep. finishing, all those questions. Are you in, hey, TikTok, where's TikTok tonight? Uh, <laughs> that's a funny username. 100. I'm glad. All right. Uh, um, let's see. We got BSNs, BSN, ADN. Mm-hmm. ADN. Uh, ADN Are you in a hospital uh, tech program? Everyone's in ADN on Instagram so ADN, far. ADN. Oh, wait, Mark or Joe. Sorry, I missed you. Um, BSN, ADN, 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 ADN. Hey, oh, finishing up prereqs for ADN, ADN, TikTok. Okay. Thank you. Um, Wow, I think we only have a couple of BSNs. Yeah, couple so this BSNs is an YouTube. interesting trend I have been seeing. Um, so between what I want to say, like I could totally be wrong because this was way before I was ever even thinking about nursing, but like early two thousands, two thousand five ish, um, really started seeing the push to BSNs up until. Mm that thing that we shall not name on social media because YouTube will ban us. But that well, thing that, that happened a thing? couple of years ago. I don't are we just want, afraid I'm to say it? I am tiptoeing around it. Up until, you know, the world lost all of the nurses. And then now I have received just so many emails from our state, from other states, because <laughs> I am actually licensed in a bunch of states. Um, Hopefully. Nice, misinspired. <laughs> yes. Thank you. Um, that thing that shall not be named. Um, it's like a Harry Potter, right? Isn't that, is that kind of yeah. what it is? I, or yeah. Is that the thing I'm, that shall not I be named? I was actually never a big Harry Potter fan. Go ahead and I mean, yell at me out there if like you guys I'm, are Harry Potter fans. But I know but, about yes. it. That shall not be named. Who, who? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Who shall not be named. So. It just sounds so much more complicated than just saying Voldemort. But whatever. <laughs> Christiana, we're talking about the difference between ADN and BSN. So tell us where you are at. And are you an ADN program? Are you a BSN? Are you an LPN program? So before like two years ago, right, BSN was really the thing. Um, Mary mm-hmm. Jane on TikTok, you're saying most hospitals in my area require BSN after three years of a higher date. Now, three years is a long time. So 
just that tells me right now, we're kind of moving back to the whole ADN thing. Um, it's interesting. I mean, of course, who knows what's going to happen, but my general kind of feeling out there in the world and from talking to people and getting all the emails from the states that I have been getting, like from the actual boards of nursing are saying like, hey, we need nurses, please come help us. Um, you guys, I get emails all the time <laughs> saying, you know, we need you, come please work for us. Uh, so I really, I have seen mm -hmm. emails about hospitals initiating now tech program, or not tech programs, but like um, hospital certifications for nurses. So we are kind of, we are seeing more of a trend back to, oh no, we need nurses. Now let's just get them anyway. Yeah, because when you were finishing up, when you were, there there was really that push for BSN. There was a yes. lot of bridge programs, right, yes. going on. RN to BSN. Yeah, lots, mm -hmm. lots of those things going on. But lots yeah, you're right. That kind of has settled down and yeah. they're like, we just need people. We need people. So. Warm bodies. <laughs> we, need, we need nurses. I start ADN next Monday. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, hey, you guys, in an ADN program, um, which is almost everyone, uh, are you guys planning on doing a bridge from ADN to BSN? Let me know. TikTok, where are you at? Are you planning on bridging from ADN to BSN? Um, uh, uh, Kaylee, yes, I did an ADN program. So, you guys, <laughs> Mike... My, uh, my education journey is a little funny. So, um, I have multiple degrees. I actually had a bachelor's before I was a nurse. I was actually going to be a psychologist. I was never going to do nursing until God had other plans for me. And I went to nursing school, but I had a bachelor's before that. So when we got married mm -hmm. and I decided to go to nursing school, we decided that I would just do the ADN program because I already had a bachelor's. And this is kind of a funny place because when you have a bachelor's in something else, you can do an ADN program and then skip the BSN and go right to a DNP. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I have always, so I've kept that in the back of my mind. I will, so I do, I have a bachelor's and then I have an ADN. And then perhaps eventually I will go back uh, for my DNP. So that is kind of, mm. you know, that is kind of, how we, you know, how we had structured it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Felipe, that's the plan. And yeah, Mrs. Pyre, yes, planning on bridging ADN to BSN Cali. That's okay. interesting. Finished my ADN and have worked in the ER for 14 years now. Nice. Um, and have now, now I have to do the BSN. It's been so long. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And that's really, um, so when there was Cali, are you also. required to then, Cali? You're required to? Um, do you, I'm just curious. Or are you just going... I mean, I guess I'm assuming that you're required to if you're, if you're doing it, but maybe you're just like gung ho and that's cool too. Um, start uh, an MN program. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Great. Uh, let's see. Did you say next week? Congratulations. Exciting. So many of you guys are starting nursing school in a yeah, couple of Yeah, it's weeks. that time of year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Lil, let me get through ADN first, <laughs> then we'll see. Yeah, that's funny. Um Oh, does it help in nursing school yeah, being a CNA? That. That's a great question. Um, yes and no is always my answer. So I think that when you, I don't, Callie, can you chime in on this? Because you're, uh, or you're in the ER. So when you were in nursing school and all you nurses who are watching right now, when you were in nursing school and then as a nurse, um, what do you guys think? Did it help you? to be a CNA first, or did it actually hurt you in nursing school? I have seen it go both ways. Like for me personally, I was a CNA. I worked before um, I went to nursing school. It was a requirement for my school, actually. Uh, you had to have a certain amount of hours. And I think as for my personal opinion, um, it helped me be able to understand medical terminology better, to be able to understand what the nurses and the doctors and everyone else in the healthcare team was saying about patients because I was already kind of in that world. Um, and then also interacting with patients in a room, right? In, mm -hmm. in a hospital setting, in a, in a clinical setting. Your bedside manner has your got bedside some manner. refinement. Exactly. Uh, that does help, you know, mm. you don't just go to nursing school and now you all, all of a sudden you have to ask somebody to like listen to all the places in the body. Um, you know, you need 
practice with that mm -hmm. to be comfortable talking to people in a hospital setting or in a clinical setting. Now, I always tell students who come into nursing school, you guys listen up. If you have a CNA degree, degree certification, if you are a CNA, if you are a tech, if you are a EMT, all you EMTs out there, raise your hand. Tell me, tell me if you are an EMT, because I see this all the time with you guys, um, you tend to bring your experience in to your nursing school exam and you cannot do that. Okay. If you are a mom, I know we've got a lot of mamas out here, mm -hmm. a lot of mamas, <laughs> you cannot bring your experience with your own children into your nursing school exam. And here's what I mean by that. When you get to your exams, your exams are going to test you on the textbook answers. Okay, you need to know what is textbook. What is the textbook nursing answer? Real world is not the NCLEX. Real world is not nursing school. Okay, just, just let's all be okay with that. Okay, nursing school is not real world. When you go take that exam, it is not what you are going to see in a hospital. Okay, it is not what you are going to see in the real world. You have to know what the textbook answer is. And when you bring in your past experience, like say Callie, right? Um, bring it in your past experience, working as a CNA, or um, you know, if you were an EMT, working as an EMT, doing all this stuff, or being a patient, um, do not bring in your past experience into your exam and answer test questions based on your experience, because it might not be the textbook correct answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I see this all the time with moms. So moms, if you say like, oh yeah, my child walked at six months of age, uh, not the textbook correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you have to know what is, what is textbook. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I hear, <laughs> I, I see a lot of people saying that uh, yeah. the previous experiences did help again, relating to the patient, knowing medical terminology, knowing the basics, knowing how to work go go through go in hospital and work your way around and things like yep. that and all of that is true so though that base understanding de definitely I, I i agree does help but like christina said just make sure that you don't lean too heavily on real life experience when they mm -hmm. want textbook yeah answers. textbook correct answers so yeah. uh cb wonder on instagram it helped me visualize the the visualize real life situations. I also knew more medical terminology than anyone. Yes. I mean, there's so many pros to having a CNA, um, uh, sort of or working as a CNA or working as a tech or something. Mm -hmm. CNA for five years, starting nursing program this fall. Woohoo! Congratulations. Yes. So it is really important. You guys, um, it, you know, if you're a nursing SOS member, you know, this inside the nursing SOS membership community, we have a very, specific way that we teach. We teach you nursing content step by step. We break it down very simple for you. So if you are a CNA, if you are a tech, if you are an EMT, if you have no experience at all and have no idea what you're doing, don't worry, we've got you, okay? We walk you through everything you need to know to pass your exams. This is what we do. So do not worry. That's one of the kind of key terms that have been thrown around lately that we've seen any, mm -hmm. anyway, is that idea of concept-based learning. Mm -hmm. let, let us know if you've heard of that. Uh, we've had questions, oh, do you do, you do concept-based learning? Does yeah. the membership help with concept-based learning? And that's how we teach even before we knew it was called that. Yep. Uh, because really, <laughs> it, is, it is all about critical thinking and yep. learning the concepts so that you can take those textbook answers and then apply it to real life. Yes. Critical thinking, you are going to be tested on your nursing school exams all of the time <laughs> on critical thinking. You are not tested in nursing school on how well you memorize stuff, right? No, not how it works. You are going to be tested on when you first hit that nursing school exam, you are going to be tested on critical thinking and how well you can apply what you know. Okay, so here's how to do that, all right? You have to make sure that you can connect the dots between everything that you're learning. And just like we talked about before, four categories, pathophysiology, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. My friends, that is where it is at, okay? Make sure that you know those four categories, patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. And it all goes back to the patho. 
Once you understand the pathophysiology of whatever you are learning, you can more critically think through the other three things. So connect the signs and symptoms back to the patho, connect the nursing assessment and the nursing interventions back to the pathophysiology. That is critical thinking. You have to be able to connect the dots between everything that you are learning, connecting disorders together. How does heart failure integrate with hypertension and diabetes? How do these things work together? That's really, really important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, so Judy actually had a question here on YouTube. Judy, shoot up an emoji, um, emoji. for answering, answering your question here. Uh, what is your suggestion on how to study for complex needs, critical care? I'm just bringing mm -hmm. this up because does the four, the big four things that we talk about yep. talking about studying, yes. patho, et cetera, does that apply to complex needs and critical care? 100% Judy, it does. And actually inside the community, we have an entire critical care course for you. So we walk through those four categories through every for everything that you have to know for critical care. Mm -hmm. um, you know, critical care being, you know, blood transfusions and chest tubes and ventilators and all of those things. You have to know uh, uh, sepsis. You have to know what the specifics are for critical care nursing and certainly critical care critically think about it. I mean, that's what it all is in its entirety of <laughs> critical care is critical thinking. Yeah. Right? So just go through those big four and yep. uh, that'll, that'll help for sure. Yes. All right. Uh, Felipe, we are going to be talking about uh, the new NCLEX, the NGN. The we'll, NGN. We'll probably circle back mm -hmm. around on that after oh, we yeah. talk about uh, dose calc and we should finishing actually... up the questions. Were there any other questions No, on that Instagram? was it. No, that, that was, was it. it. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, like I said, Christina mm -hmm. did ask on Instagram. So if you guys are not following her on Instagram. Stories. Stories. Oh, stories. Uh, follow her stories. Uh, she was asking questions to answer yep. here on this live. And so we... Uh, went through all of those ones. That's we, we, what we just went over. So um, be sure to follow her, Nursing SOS. Also, you can follow on TikTok too for more content and more fun TikTok. fun things. Um, nursing SOS official. Yes, yes, on TikTok. Because Nursing SOS was already taken on TikTok. Which is kind of weird. But, all right. All right. So uh, let's go yeah. back. Uh, we did have a couple questions here about dosage calculations, dose okay. calc, dimensional analysis. Uh, shoot up emojis, hit the like button if mm. you are going to be taking your dose calc exams because semester is starting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Let us know what your questions are about dose calculations. We will jam on that. So Jay, how do you do a dimensional analysis where, when there is no matching measurements? Uh, I don't that mean when you need to change not... MCD, MCG to MG, et cetera. Um, I'm going to need more clarification on that. I saw that come through earlier, and I don't... Do you understand what that means? Uh, not entirely. So, Jay, you're still here. So, Go ahead and add more detail to your question. We are talking about that now. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see here. Flashcards inside our dose calc box, by the way. Dacia, I just want some advice. I failed dose calculation three times, and now I'm faced with being kicked out. Uh, I don't yeah. know if it's worth it to start over. Any input? Yes. So, definitely... Input number one, do uh, do dimensional analysis. Yes, you have to learn how to do dimensional analysis. So um, we have an entire course on this inside the Nursing SOS membership community. Um, these are actually in our dose calc box. So we have the flashcards. We have the step-by-step -step guide for how to do it. Um, we have a clinical guide, and we've got the workbooks um, inside our dose calc box. So these walk you through practice problems. And then, so here's, you guys, here's what dimensional analysis looks like, if anyone is confused. Um, it has, it's like railroad tracks. They call them railroad tracks. Um, but you start with what you need over here, and then what you have, and then your conversions. And then you can solve the problem. It's literally plug and play. There are no formulas or anything. All you have to do is make sure that you line up your units the right way. That's it. And then you multiply and then you divide. And that is it. It is literally the simplest way to get dose calc correct is this. Dose calc does not need to be complicated. Does not need to be hard. When you line it up this way, you will get the questions right every single time. So um, we have an entire course on it inside the Nursing SOS membership community, but the membership community is closed until Sunday. So I, of course, realize that that's not going to help you right now. So go to our YouTube channel and type in Dose Calc, okay? Go to YouTube, type in Dose Calc, or Nursing SOS, Dose Calc, whatever. 
Um, find our videos on Dose Calc on YouTube. We have a very defined process for teaching it. Um, check out the videos on it on YouTube and that will help until you're able to join the membership community. And then inside the membership community, we have the entire step-by-step -step process. We've got practice problems for you. You get access to our tutors uh, to help you with it. Uh, so we are absolutely here for you. We do not leave you hanging. So uh, someone just asked, do you get the flashcards when you join the community? So what, what Christina is showing here, uh, the different workbooks and the flashcards, et cetera, et cetera, that's part of our Dose Calc box, which is a physical product. So the physical products um, do not come with the membership. In the membership, there are courses and step-by-step -step videos on how to do Dose Calc and also practice questions within uh, the community. But if yep. you need more practice and you like more physical products, we did create our Ghost Health box. Yep. Um, so you can check that out at our shop. But but members get 20% off all our products. So yeah, there you um, go. There's if you're that a nursing too. SOS member. Um, so we also have our pharmacology box with our pharmacology flashcard. So you guys have probably seen me post um, some of these on Instagram Oops, and TikTok, and I'm dropping them as I talk. Um, they're really, really great. So make sure that you snag that farm box or the dose calc box if you need help with those. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's see, Jay, did you answer yet? Not yet, Jay. Um, you were talking about dimensional analysis. Uh, what if there is no matching measurements? Uh, if there are no, yeah, don't know exactly what you're talking you about. Can't, but you can't, you can't. If, so the question has to give you, um, the question has to give you what you need to end up with the units. The question mm -hmm. has to give you the order. And then you yourself have to figure out what conversions will get you from A to B. Yeah. That's it. So what conversion factors do you need to know in order to get from point A to point B, right? So option number one in your questions is either it was genuinely missing something and it was a typo or something, mm -hmm. which is possible. Um, I have found, though, that when I think I am right and that my instructors made a mistake every single time, I don't think I've ever had it happen where they were incorrect. <laughs> so just know that if you get to a nursing school exam, especially dose calc, they have given you like the question works. You just have to figure out how to get it to work. Yeah, so huh? the second part is there's a conversion that maybe you forgot about yeah. that converts um, kilograms to pounds or something like that, mm -hmm. uh, that you just you got it right. remember. Good. So yeah, you can convert <laughs> that's those. One of these. So that's hey, one of them. Um, here's so. a big one that no nursing student usually knows, but you will be tested on is grains. Who knows what a grain is? Yeah. The only grain there's I know is rice grains. So. <laughs> there is a conversion you have to know. Okay, one grain, 65 milligrams. Mm -hmm. All right, remember that for your exam, and you're welcome. Because it will show up. Don't get it wrong. Okay, one grain is 65 milligrams. Mm -hmm. Hey, speaking of rice, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make pancit? Have you made pancit yet? Uh, no. <laughs> I, I am no. I think I usually leave you that to your mom. Yeah. Because she she does I try. I mean, I try to make stir fry and stuff, but it just is not quite the same um, as authentic. <laughs> authentic. Made by a Filipina. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I can't do it either, so that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the Lady Co., you guys mentioned study guides. Does the membership include PDFs? Yes, the membership does include PDFs. Yep. So um, each disorder, each course has yep. a bunch of um, extended study guides that you can download, take it with you, print them out, do whatever with them. Uh, yes, so they do have that. And while we're on the topic, uh, you had a question up earlier, so I'm going to go ahead and Man, scroll. I do not know. I think up. I have allergies. Do you guys uh, see like my eyes twitching and watering? Hold on. Where's your... Oh! Matthew Starting... might have to answer all these questions. No, I'm himself. not sure. Well, because we'll see. Uh, Lady Maya. Co... Lady Co or Lady CO, I'm not sure how you want to say that, but there you go. Uh, starting next week, how do you handle all the information? So how do you handle all this information? I'm afraid to run out of time with four classes and four kids. Mm -hmm. uh, you need, the, the thing with children in nursing school is that you, you really do need to delegate more to other people. Um, children are 
obviously, um, you know, they need... <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, they need... Um, 24 7 supervision right <laughs> and you need to study nursing so you do need to find someone i mean that's just that's just where where how how it is um you know you're gonna need help with your children and and that's okay you know so family friends um care.com <laughs> you know definitely get some help oh um when when sorry that was really dramatic <laughs> but here's a great tip for you um, in the university that I attended, there was actually a part of the university was like a child development degree. So they actually had daycare for the students. Oh yeah, that's school. right. Yeah. That's yes. Kind of fun. Yes. We met in college. So <laughs> he knows too. Um, so yeah, that could be an option. I think that's a really mm -hmm. great one too. Um, hi, Tara, by the way, on TikTok. Yeah, so actually, um, we just did a couple of YouTube videos. The the one that posted today is about the nursing school lies. Yes, that's a good one. don't and, believe the lies. And I think uh, last week also talked a little bit about um, time and things like that. So yeah. definitely check that out. But um, yeah, I think what we like to always discuss as well is the idea of work-life balance and how that's kind of a myth in this culture that we live in is wrong so so many things you are embarking on a nursing school journey so right now you are going to be imbalanced at this point mm -hmm. going towards nursing school but that's not to say that that's going to be how the, it is all the time so mm -hmm. uh what did i see i saw adam grant post something that we all want to stand still and do about and do perfect balance but really what it is is um purposeful imbalance i think like or something like that shifting like mm -hmm. that and uh, he had a nice little image that goes with that is like crossing a tight tight rope and like walking across a tight rope if you just stand still it's a lot harder to balance on a tight rope but if you're moving mm -hmm. forward you're constantly moving back and forth to kind of offset your thing mm -hmm. so and you you can make it across a lot easier that way so with slack lining etc anyone does that so really it's not about perfect balance because if you just try and stand still and be perfectly balanced you'll fall so just yeah. make sure that you imbalance in the proper way so in this part of your journey you're in nursing school and it takes a lot of time so know that it's not 100 percent all of the time mm -hmm. um just kind of do imbalances one way or the other what the membership community and what we try and do is get you as efficient as possible so you're not wasting time yep but it will still take a lot of time 100 percent. so mm -hmm. hopefully that helps mm, tara heading into my last semester of nursing school thank you guys for getting me here you're the best hey, cool, hey cool. instagram tiktok youtube like this video youtube subscribe like follow us what are, what are the <laughs> words follow us on instagram and tiktok i my are your eyes, eyes are your like, eyes like seriously okay um, i'm let's, crying on video let's uh finish up with this then user on tiktok it might be the sunscreen user 704 blah 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 so i'm i'm guessing it's the temporary user or you don't actually have a username or something i don't yeah. know TikTok. Mm -hmm. i don't do the tiktoks um but uh asking for tips for med surge med surge peed so we did talk about this a little earlier I'm just when gonna you, be like this answering your okay. question. When you go ahead and answer that again, <laughs> how do we study med surge? How do we um, study peds? How do we study critical care? Four things. All those Patho, things. Patho, signs and symptoms, nursing assessment, and nursing interventions. So make sure that you understand those four main categories because that is what you're gonna be testing. That's it. You guys try to make it so complicated. Don't make it so complicated. Actually, Instagram. You're still here. I know you are. Uh, they asked about um, easy way of remembering fluids and electrolytes and ABG. It's the like same that. thing. Guess Path what? Signs Guess and what? That is why I brought it up. You have same to connect thing. it all together, friends. Okay, but we do have a absolutely over the moon, fantastic fluid and electrolyte course inside the Nursing SOS membership community. So you guys, enrollment opens on Sunday. Don't miss it because enrollment does not open very often only a few times a year so you have to make sure that you get in when enrollment is open okay and it's only going to be open for what five days um it's only a, yeah well, it's only a few days it's only open for a few days so it will open on sunday 
it will close on Friday. So that would be what, six days? Something so, like that. And not even like the end of day Friday. It's like the afternoon, the on, afternoon Friday. on Friday. So make sure that you enroll, <laughs> okay, on Sunday so you don't miss it accidentally because it happens every single time students email us and they say, oh no, I missed it. Can I get in? And we have to say, sorry, because it's closed. So make sure that you join the Nursing SOS membership community when it opens, okay? Awesome. Um, I am so happy, Mandy, that mm, our cool. videos have helped you. Fantastic. Uh, Tramika, how much is enrollment? It is $39 per month or $3.90 per year, which gives you two months, or like two free months. So it's like getting 12 months for the price of 10, which is fantastic. Yeah. All right. My eyes are like watering. All right. This is so weird. I think it's the sunscreen. So here's the deal. Being outside. Go ahead and shoot up some likes, shoot up some emojis if you guys like our our ama structure if you think we're if cute you think, together yes that too <laughs> uh we go live on mondays Someone and wednesdays today's monday right mm -hmm. so we're gonna be live on wednesday yep by my powers of deduction so mondays and wednesdays we go live same mm -hmm. time same place mm -hmm. uh 6 30 east no 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 6, 6 30 pacific, pacific. 9 30 Eastern. Eastern. All there right. You go. So I'm going to be um, scheduling another one on YouTube. <laughs> and you guys can always go there and ask your questions ahead of time, mm -hmm. even. And then we'll answer them there. He'll probably post up another Instagram story asking for more questions. So go ahead and follow if you have not followed yet. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Christiana, it's so good to see you. Did you comment before? Because I missed you. <laughs> I think I just sent you a box, right? Uh, this nursing SS membership community is awesome. It has helped me tremendously throughout nursing school. You're the best. Thank you, my friend. Um, all right, friends. Seriously, join the community. You are you are just going to head over heels. Love it. So make sure that you join on Sunday when enrollment opens. That's about it. All right. We'll oh. That's what I wanted yes. to say. Sorry, okay. one All more right. thing. One more thing. Um, we are going to do, Matthew was talking about the live videos that we do every Monday and Wednesday. Everyone on here seems to be asking about um, the NGN. Oh, yes. Like the new Sorry. NCLEX. So we're not going to talk about it now, but I want to do a whole live about it okay. again because it's just such a big deal. It's such a big topic. So let's just, should we do that Yeah, let's Wednesday? do that Wednesday. Yep. Okay, Wednesday. Yep, Wednesday so is NGN day. We'll see you guys on Wednesday. Same time, same place, 6.30 Pacific, 9.30 Eastern. Um, on Wednesday, let's talk about the NGN because I know that it's on everyone's mind. What's changing with the NCLEX? How it, you know, how, how it goes. Um, you know, what it's going to be like. Uh, all of that. Proverbs 31 mom. I got to say, I love your username on Instagram. <laughs> Thank you. Um, all right. Okay. I think that's good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Everyone. We'll, we'll see, see you Wednesday. on Wednesday. All right, friends. All right. Take care guys. Bye. Bye. Bye Instagram. Goodbye. TikTok. We'll see you Wednesday. <laughs>